Hello, all my friends. It's Miss Jackie, your occupational therapist here. I hope that everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. And this week, we are going to be working on some of our sweet treats. So for us today, we're going to be talking about hot chocolate. So who doesn't love hot chocolate by a cozy fire? So your teacher or your parent will have a piece of paper like this printed out. And the things that we need today are crayons, little tiny marshmallows, or you can use cotton balls. I know with all of the allergies, nowadays it might be better to use little pieces of cotton ball so that we don't have any allergy issues. And glue. So we do need liquid glue and not a glue stick. If all you have is a glue stick, we can try it. It just might not work as well. And then the last thing you're going to need is tongs. So you can see I have my shark tongs today, but you, if you're at home, you can use tongs that mommy has in the kitchen cabinet or um, any type of tongs. So everybody has a different skill level. Um, these are pretty thin tongs, but you could also have thicker ones. Um, they make little tiny tongs for um, little hands too. So whatever you have will make it work. So well, the first thing we're going to do is color our marshmallow bag. So I'm going to use red. So you can see I have my triangle crayons today. It just helps with um, finger positioning. So my thumb is bent, pointer points to the tip middle finger rests on that side and then i'm going to color inside the boundary lines of my bag that we're going to put all the marshmallows in so i'm going to leave the bow out because i want to color that green a different color we're getting ready for your christmas now now that thanksgiving is over All right, so you can see I'm just going to color in all of the bag. I'm going to use red and green. Okay. Ooh, I have green, and I'm going to color in that bow. So we try to stay inside the boundary lines when we color things in. There we go. And I think I'm going to do blue. Blue and snowflakes looks really nice. I'm going to color in that number five. And depending on if your parent or teacher has a color printer, these um, cups might already be colored in. I don't have a color printer, so that's why mine aren't. But you might have them colored in already if your teacher or your parent or caregiver has a color printer. So we're all done with our um, coloring. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some glue. This is why it works really well with the liquid glue. So the first number that we need is number five. So I'm gonna put five dots of glue, two, three, four, five. And it's really difficult to show you without it all dribbling down on a vertical surface. But what we're gonna do is we are gonna count out 27 little tiny marshmallows or pieces of cotton ball. And I already have those cut out. So I'm gonna put them right inside my bag here. I'm actually gonna lower the screen so you can see what I'm gonna do. So I have all my little marshmallows here inside my bag to make my hot chocolate. You. There we go, now we can see a little bit better. I'm gonna get out my tongs now, and just like how we do hold a pencil, we're doing it with our thumb is bent, pointer points to the tip, and middle finger rests on the side, and we're gonna pick up our cotton balls or our marshmallows and stick them on the glue. So my first cup of hot chocolate needs five marshmallows. So one, two, three, four, five. I've got five marshmallows in this cup of hot chocolate. Now, you're gonna keep on going to fill up all of your cups of hot chocolate with their marshmallows. 
I hope you have a great time and don't be afraid to ask your teacher for help if you need help using your tongs. They can be pretty tricky at times. All right, I hope everybody has a great time with this activity. See you next week.